Hi, hello, hello everyone. It's me, that divination witch, and I hope you're doing well. I'm back with another witchy reaction type video. At the weekend, something happened. And yes, that sounds ominous, but it's not. That something was the Eurovision Song Contest. I used to be a fan of Eurovision. I've got nothing against it, but it's not my cup of tea. However, this year, I had no choice but to watch because of this individual that we're going to be talking about and reacting to. Uh, they represented Ireland, they go by Bambi Thug. I've tried to record this before, but I will keep calling them Barbie. So I am sorry if I call them Barbie. <laughs> don't mean to. I don't know why my brain's doing this. Bambi is openly a witch, and I find that very interesting. Uh, they seem like a very rebellious sort of person. I love that. Reclaiming their power speaking up as well eurovision this year i don't want to make this video about this but it was pretty controversial because israel were allowed to perform i don't think that should have happened that's my two cents i think it's disgusting and bambi was very vocal about it as were some other people someone even got disqualified i don't know if it was over that or not but there was a lot of cover-ups there was even anti-booing technology apparently but still I'm not making it about that. It's not cool at all <laughs> uh, to me. But Bambi, you may have seen them in the news because of that. Not so much because of their witchiness, because of speaking up, to be honest. And I find that interesting. And I find it interesting as well that Ireland has chose a witch for their act. I think that's progressive. Uh, yeah, so I thought, right, let's react. Let's react to their performance, see if there's any symbolism that I can spot and we can talk about together. So let's get into it. Now, if you're new here, just a quick introduction. I'm Sarah, I'm that divination witch. Hello, welcome. I hope you do stick around. This is a safe space. I've set up to help people, to have a good time. If you've got any questions, ask away, because no question's silly. We've all got to start somewhere. Don't feel frightened to ask. I try and keep everything nice, safe. You know, I won't tolerate any nastiness in the comments below. And if you want to support the channel further, I do have a shop and a Patreon. I offer readings. Anything I get from readings goes back into the channel, improving on things, new equipment like this microphone. <laughs> uh, and I, I just want to thank everyone who does support me, even if it's not through the shop, even if you're just watching my stuff. I appreciate it, seriously. I never thought I'd even have a YouTube, so thank you. Right, so let's watch their performance. Now, I'm just going to get to the bit I want to get to. We're going to get to the start of it. And before I click play, I just want to say a few things. So Bambi is a non-binary witch from Isle... well from Ireland, I believe they live in London. I read up a bit about them before reacting uh, to give you some context. They are openly a witch. They talk about how they practice neo-paganism, similar to me, I suppose, in that way. Uh, I thought it was interesting when I saw the performance, some of the, the terminology used in, in, in the lyrics and how dark it seemed as well. I thought, oh, what's this about? Uh, for an outsider, it might even seem a bit scary. They did an interview with TMRW magazine. I've never heard of that magazine before, but I will link the interview below. If I re Please remember, Sarah. Uh, in the interview, though, they said, when asked, do you ever use this kind of processing spells when creating your music? They were talking about their witchcraft. And they said that, yes, I've got a song called Doomsday that isn't out yet. And it's funny that Doomsday Blues is the song they use in Eurovision. Uh, I spoke in tongues under the beat. And we all speak backwards in songs or just hide spells in songs using occult language as well. Or even like the song Necromancy that came from a spell. And the attention, the intention, sorry, was in it. And most of my songs and lyrics all have occult-based lyrics too. Definitely plays a massive part. Don't think that anyone is really using much occult terminology. And that's sick because I want to do it all. I mean, that's cool. So they're openly even saying that they're putting spells and their, their intentions and work and energy into things. And music itself, 
music does hold a great power anyway, so if you think about it, it can raise vibrations, it can change the energy of things. It's very powerful whether you're a witch or not. So I, I thought, right, this is interesting, I need to react to their performance. So where is the video? Let's react to it then, together. Let's talk about it. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, pause there. <laughs> it goes straight, straight in like, whoa, the song's very intense straight away. Performance wise, we're starting in a ritual circle, a magical circle. Symbolism there. We're doing something magical here, something with intention. The words of Vada Kedavra, that's not a real word per se, it's from Harry Potter, but J.K. Rowling even said it's a play on Abracadabra. If you don't know Harry Potter, it's the killing curse in Harry Potter. And it's like Bambi is summoning something bad, maybe? Trying to destroy, kill something. They're talking about hexing and cursing. So, you know, it's very negatively polarised. Uh, their outfit, their makeup, I just want to say. The symbol here, on the third eye, interestingly enough as well, is a Celtic symbol. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. I'll try and remember to put it on the screen. I believe it's linked with the Morrigan and the Triple Goddess sort of aspect. The writing, it's writing as well, across their eye down here. That's a language called Ogham. Uh, and that is similar, I suppose, to the Norse runes. It's an ancient Celtic language. I don't know exactly what it says, because I don't read that as divination. <laughs> uh, but it will be interesting to find out. And uh, I'll try and find out and put it on the screen, what it means. But yeah, she's got something there. Oh, I've said she, and they're, they're not a she. I apologise profusely. I'm sorry if I misgender throughout this. It's so... I, I do respect people's genders. Don't get me wrong, I definitely do. Uh, and there are they, them. It's just hard when they're female <laughs> represent... You, you know what I mean? I don't mean it disrespectfully. Also, the horns. The hair horns. Sorry for the noise outside. Yeah, very uh, devil-esque. Very dark. And the outfit that Bambi is wearing. I'm also saying Barbie over and over. Uh, the outfit that they're wearing reminds me of the Morrigan. Uh, the Morrigan is linked with, you know, the dark feminine. She's a triple goddess. She has a side to her that is, I think it's Matcha or Babd. I can't remember which one, but it's linked with ravens. And uh, when she's came through with that energy before the Morrigan, it's very dark. It's black hair. It's oil sort of oil slicked look it's uh very dark like that and she does wear a, a robe made of black feathers so i don't know if this person works with the morrigan i don't know if they do uh their pronouns are they them and fae as well and uh it makes me think do they work with the, the seed the other side the the fae uh in celtic beliefs you know, it will be interesting because the Morrigan is linked with the Fae too. A lot of the Celtic gods are, so yeah. Alright, pause again. That so Bam Bambi <laughs> has just summoned somebody. So it's a summoning ritual. That somebody is a man. Now I know they're non-binary, but they are female presenting in this. And it does feel like the male and female aspects of things. And that is heavily in Celtic paganism, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, the horned god, Kernanos, you know, that sort of symbolism. Now the moon is also 
a magical symbol within all paths really it's a feminine energy too it's yeah very much linked with that but it's interesting as well the guy he's half like demon looking half black half you know not half painted all demonic and half not now it's this yin and yang aspect you know feminine masculine horned god it's like an inner demon or something she i will say she and i don't mean it but it's an inner demon that bambi is like summoning in this performance sort of thing it's like the dark side I guess I it there. Uh, I was going to pause it earlier because I noticed the belt that they're wearing. So the belt they're wearing is made up of spirals and that's a sacred symbol in Celtic mythology as well. The spiral is a symbol of magic, a symbol of power, never ending. Uh, so that's interesting too. I did also notice a key, I don't know if it's on a bracelet or something in the key where we know symbols of keys are uh, unlocking something so something's been unlocked and brought forth here and again back to this man devil horn demon horn there's something being brought to the surface something not nice the language again hexes curses of adikadavra you know something not nice being brought to the forefront and yeah the circle is a pentacle that can mean protection as well so yeah it's definitely Ritual-esque this My heart be buried in the ground And to its strings I bind your bound So when you sleep you'll hear my sound I, I, I know you're gonna be alive I, I, I know you're gonna be alive I, I, I know you're gonna be alive Yeah, the best I mean God, guess you're right on the side was that runes i'll go back see if we can pause it there was that runes we are oh, pause oh it wasn't it wasn't oh there was some runes on there so yeah we've got more symbolism so we've got the symbol that i can't remember <laughs> uh we've got the triqueta another celtic symbol we've got a fair who rune which is feminine and this is a rune as well and i forgot the meaning Oh, trust me to forget meanings of things. But there is meaning in these. It's linking back to her, their Celtic roots. Sorry, I, again, I really, I apologise profusely. It's hard, like I say, when a non-binary person is displaying feminine energy, you know, and, and it's, the performance itself, it is performance art. It is giving a lot of divine feminine energy off, you know. Uh, but even the rune, yeah, that, I mean... Freya is represented by this rune. Interesting. A lot of divine feminine energy in this. And juxtapositioned with the masculine. Okay. And then it opens up into like a magical circle. I can't see what the writing is. Is that even writing around here? Is it writing? Well, it's definitely like a ritual circle. And, and ritual circles... I believe Bambi has said in in interviews, in especially in the one 
I've uh, read as well, they've said that they practice sigil magic and things like that. So it would make sense that they know about stuff like this. Uh, they may be on the left hand path. I, I have a vibe that they are on the left hand path. stuff says uh, on their face I uh, will check that out but yeah ultimately although it seems so so dark that performance to the, to an outsider that would be like what on earth is this and to me as well the music I'm not a fan I can't lie no offense to Bambi it's not for me and I love all sorts of music but I thought mm, I wasn't keen on this particular song but I'm keen on what you do, uh, they do, <laughs> the message that they are giving in this. So it's very much like rebellious, uh, very much fighting back. But yeah, to an outsider, it just seems dark and scary. Uh, I've had conversations with people over this. It's, it, it is meant to be challenging though, isn't it? Uh, it's meant to challenge patriarchy, uh, challenge everything. But it's Bambi bringing forth something dark from themselves and conquering it. That's what I feel it is. I don't know if they've ever said, I think I read somewhere they said it was about some sort of trauma. Uh, yeah, it was about some sort of trauma here. But let me have a look at the comments with you guys. I mean, this is the sad thing. It's all these people saying it's from hell and Satanism and all of this. Now, I'm not one of those symbols was a Satan symbol. Not one of them. It was Celtic paganism. And, and that's why I wanted to react to this, that none of that is Satanic. As Satanic as it might seem, it's, it's not Satanic. Not one symbol was to do with demons or Baphomet. Not that Baphomet's Satanic, but people often say Baphomet is there's nothing like that uh, I'm just having a look at the comments yeah 666 I mean people say that's the number of the devil or whatever I don't know it doesn't matter That that's my opinion I know there's plenty of people that do reactions I remember Sam Smith had a performance when that whole unholy song came out people do reactions about Doja Cat that was another thing but this is a person who is genuinely and openly a witch unapologetically and I love that I do and I just wanted to share it with you guys you know I don't think there was anything inherently bad in that I just wanted to dispel that because that's what about this that's what this channel is all about dispelling the misinformation there wasn't anything inherently bad there was a lot of dark themes but that's what shadow work is in like addressing our inner demons inner turmoil inner fears and worries and anxiety and stuff like this we're, we're supposed to get to the nitty gritty it's not supposed to be fluffy it's not supposed to be stuff like that but it wasn't controlling anyone it wasn't anything like that i mean if it was some sort of ritual do you not think they would have won uh no i think it was more activism and performance art truly none of those symbols that i could see there like i say were satanic or anything like that or that i could see now Bambi has said that they put hidden messages in the music, so who knows. But I just wanted to share it. So 
yeah let me know what you think do you, did you spot something i didn't do you think that this is evil or satanic do you truly think that i mean if you're subscribed to this channel you know i don't think that about things <laughs> uh but what's your opinion i'm curious to know do you know bambi are they you know are they online anywhere like are they in anyone's coffin if you are bambi hello welcome sorry i said the wrong pronouns a few times i didn't mean to do that uh i think you're very brave i think you're amazing to have stood up for your rights stood up for what you believe in and to uh, break the mold we need more people like that more people breaking the mold that's what i feel and uh for what it's worth i'm proud i'm not irish but i am proud that they did that uh yeah so i hope this was entertaining anyway so yeah until next time if you made it this far first you know you know what to do you know what to do by now hit subscribe but until next time all right stay safe stay witchy bye